So the ITEL P17 is here and it comes in two variants, namely the ITEL P17 which is a 3G device and the ITEL P17 Pro which is a 4G device. In this video, I'll be covering both devices. So by the end of this video, you'll know who it is for, if you should get it or not. So yeah, do me a favor and click on that like button so that more people can benefit from this content and click on that subscribe button as well since we are literally a few more subscribers to 600 subscribers so yeah do that and yeah let's jump right into this video the itp 17 is made out of plastic as you would expect from an entry level device like this but one thing about plastic devices is that they give you one less thing to worry about which is kind of nice compared to using a glass device which you would need to get a case for but i would advise you to get a screen protector since the display doesn't have any form of corning gorilla glass protection Speaking of display, we get a 6.5 inch LCD display with a resolution of 720 by 1600 pixels, which is just fine for media consumption. You don't get any high refresh rate on this device, neither do you get high peak brightness on this device as well. We get Android 11 Go Edition on this device, which is just okay for entry level devices like this, especially devices with low processors like this one and this device rocks the mediatek mt whatever whatever processor coupled with one gigabyte of ram and 16 gigabytes of storage and our advice is to even install lighter versions of apps on this device so as not to fill up your memory quickly or just make the device slower in general and if your memory gets filled up well you can expand it using a memory card. As for cameras, we get a 5 megapixel rear camera and an 8 megapixel selfie camera. Both cameras are capable of shooting videos at 1080p 30 frames per second. Powering this device is a 4000 mAh battery and you should get a day's usage or even more on this device considering the fact that you won't be doing any intensive tax on it and when it dies, well you can use it off using the 5 watts charger included in the box and charging times would be really really slow. On the other hand, the ITEL P70 Pro is a 4G device with the same chip except from the fact that it has 2GB of RAM and 32GB of storage. So basically you are paying extra for 4G, twice the memory, twice the RAM and I don't think that's the best. If you want a better device and you can save a bit more, I would advise you to go for the Techno Spark ETC, which I made a video on. Link to the video in the iCard above. And yeah, that's basically it for the ITEL P70 and the P17 Pro. And as for the price, well, I'll keep you updated in the comment section or in the description since there are no words from ITEL yet on the price of this device. And at the end of the day, who is this device for? Well, this device is for people who just need a device that works and nothing more honestly. It's just a plain old device for people who just need something that works and yeah. If you enjoyed this video, click on that like button and that subscribe button if you love this video. Thanks for watching and catch you guys in the next video. Peace.